South African state entities could learn from the SA Airlink and Qatar Airways deal in which Qatar Airways Group has acquired a 25% stake in the regional carrier. Now that's according to the managing director of the Knowledge Anchor Group, Dr. Nimrod Mbele. The group is preparing for a conference at the Henley Africa campus in Johannesburg uh, on August 29th, which will focus on the new National State Enterprises Bill. And Dr. Mbele joins us in studio this morning. Doc, thank you so much for your time this morning. So much to talk about in the space that you will be focusing on. We just saw this uh, 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 briefing from the health department, uh, serious investigations going into widespread fraud. It seems that's been allowed to take hold unabated. Um, some serious uh, introspection needed in spaces where people in leadership positions, too many of them, have looked the other way. Um, with a small amount bene benefiting and showing deep rot that has uh, um, uh, taken hold in important government uh, organizations. Well, it's quite sad that this is what we have become accustomed to as a country, purely because they, there is a lacuna when it comes to shareholder, shareholder activism. Um, we see people in the streets protesting, uh, but it doesn't, it doesn't end there. You should actually get to the high levels uh, in boardrooms and the senior executive levels to begin to question the ethical behaviors mm -hmm. of some professions. I mean, it's quite scandalous that the, the legal fraternities has not been um, vociferous in checking or putting cross um, checks and balances to ensure that um, you know, ordinary folks are not taking for the ride. I mean, these things, obviously, they, they come through at some point, but if you have been there, uh, being diligent, the chances are um, the kind of road would have been arrested a lot earlier.